Hello and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard tutorial where I am showing you a business dashboard design for a monthly dashboard where you can do the comparison of multiple months. So we have the KPIs for the selected months but down below you can view uh, whether in month April or May. So 4 indicates April, 5 indicates May. So month number is what I am taking uh, is basically what is the comparison of sales uh for these two months what is the category contribution and down below uh over the uh, various days what is the sales for may and uh for the april and may right so april is your this dark purple color or dark blue color i would say uh which is similar to this one and then five indicates may so clearly it shows that in april you had a good sales and in may so this gives the business users those who need to control the business or need to take an action to quickly see the information about their um, about their business from a comparison perspective like uh, they want to do two months three comparison for their business needs so the whole idea is how we can create this dashboard also a quick information that uh, over here you can see that right now what we have the dashboard but we want to view the details or the raw data so we can click here and it will show us the information for the details but as soon as i click here on the details the show dashboard is coming so if i click again onto the dashboard the dashboard is coming so idea is that you know i am showing you this one functionality for details but you can create as many dashboard and their detailed information over here for example sales dashboard monthly maybe the product dashboard uh more maybe the region region dashboard you know same data but from a different cuts if that's what your re user requirements are and you keep it at one single place that basically gives them uh they don't have to save multiple links but the we need to take care of uh, a scenario where uh, you know it is becoming bulky and uh, slowing down the performance and all of this is based on one of the power bi dashboard that i created uh, and published it yesterday so the similar dashboard is something what i created in the power bi you can go and check my uh, yesterday's video or the one which i published it before this video and you can get the power bi related uh, dash same dashboard the only thing is this is right now i'm showing it more in a horizontal fashion but there it is more of a vertical fashion so same thing you can double up within power bi also very easily whole idea is you get the uh, you know best of both the worlds like power bi and tableau and increase your skill set so what i'm using is as you can see the sample superstore data so let me press control n and uh, whole idea is that i'll give you the step-by-step uh, -step approach of uh, creating this dashboard if you are creating it very first time then watch it in a normal speed like i suggest uh, but if you are an experienced user but want to give take a walk through then probably a speed a playback speed of 1.25x will be useful for you so here you have connect to data and i'm using the sample superstore also for sample superstore i keep uh, a link also in my uh, in the description right so look at the description where i keep post keeping uh, data set links plus other video tutorial links uh, that that is something useful for you uh, in terms of learning how you can create the dashboard within the tab all right or power bi so with that information here is this dashboard that uh, we want to create but before that we will going to create these kpis so we will call this sheet the kpis right so i double click then rename the sheet and here i have my measures right sales profit quantity and discount so in the same way i will put it uh, in a column sales profit and uh, quantity come on and uh, you have the discount but discount should not be sum it should be average never take the sum uh, because it is for individual product and summing is is not right uh, from a metric perspective and then uh, this this is so first thing another thing is before i do and change the formatting for this let me show you why i am doing this is because i go to the show me and over here in this table right if i expand this like this okay 
So what I have is uh, sales profit discount. So I'll just change the order sales profit. Uh, sum of discount is what I don't need. I need quantity. I don't know if I took that. So sum of quantity, right? Uh, and then over there, you what you need to do is you need to oop, let us escape. I accidentally selected the pen. So I what I do is I create uh, no I create the entire view right and uh, so we have this but you can see average discount is coming zero so we need to come over here go to the format and within that you can come to the percentages and maybe one decimal is fine right so 15.6 percent then what you can do is uh, these are the measure values and all. Uh, this is the text measure values. So we change this, let's say to the 16. If you click apply, this is what you will going to get, right? So 16, if this is uh, if sufficient or you can make it even 20, click apply or maybe I believe 24. The uh, reason I'll tell you why I'm doing this is because I don't want to show this entire number. So we want to do a quick formatting for this. So format and uh, then we change it to currency custom and over there in display units, we choose the thousand right? and no point in showing the decimals. So this is what the output is. Similar way you go and choose the formatting for this currency custom, no decimal and then th in thousands, right? 15.6, 37K. So same thing for this, select the formatting for this. Here in case we need, num in this case we need number because this is not the currency, but the display unit will still be 38K. So it will not be a time, you know, ideally whenever we create the management dashboard, we don't show the entire number because all of that does not make any sense. But here 2.29 million is something giving them the idea as to what's going on. So if in millions is what your business is reporting then i recommend this which is easy so this is the uh, kpis tab but over here you can see if i right click and click on format right so what do we have is the default and uh, for the header uh, we change this to let's say 12 right and we choose the color which is a little bit light okay so if i do that yeah that makes sense uh, alignment I keep it center right even for this if I go to text and if I select this apply okay so this is basically not coming so what we can even do is from here header we come to here in pane and in that uh, if I try oh nothing happening so technically it should happen so right click and I go to the format worksheet uh, is this and then over here sorry in alignment within the pane yeah so now it is done so this is what it is uh, what we have as a sales and profit in the kpis section what i have created it over here if you see very similar to this it's just that i have only selected two months that's why you are seeing the lower values so if i go to the sheet two and my sheet two will be this product monthly comparison so we call it product monthly comparison right and uh, in that what we take is basically what we have is what do you call product and in that you have the subcategories within subcategories i want to take order date but I don't want here. What I basically want is the month information. So up to us, I created a different variable, but if you feel like this is more in user friendly, which even I also believe, then I will, this is a better option than what I initially created. So this is the month information. And then what we need is uh, sales over here. And let me change this to this. Uh, however, you can see this is a bit crazy. So I will change this like this one, right? So we have Jan and we have Fab, right? 
um, also hold down the control key and put them onto a color lot of colors but we were going to restrict it because this is a monthly dashboard comparison dashboard so we will take month year click on next and we will select what april and may click okay and now your dashboard is reduced then it's all about what color we want to choose i have chosen this one you can go into the color edit color double click april and choose this right this will similar to what i have over there for me uh, i think i have chosen this one click this click apply and okay right these are the colors which which i am picking it up in the labels you should show the labels so the labels are now over here um, and uh, we don't need this grills or um, grid so format over here uh, we don't need row divider we don't need column divider right so this is this in case of columns um, over here grid lines none so now all the grid lines are gone right in case of rows we can choose it to keep it like this one so you can choose you can see that very small grid line is basically coming if you see this is basically indicating the april and may right so up to us how much we want but if we want everything we can keep it or we can keep it none uh, mostly i love the none part because uh, where i select the none because this is basically helping us um, you know keeping the information a little bit aggregated right so this is where you have uh, april and may here only april april and may right so up to us how do we want to view this information but whole idea is how you can select this or how you can make it uh, for your user relevant for your users so if i select a little bit more light you can see it is going lighter and lighter right so this is what it is i hit save button oh it will ask me to save it i don't want to save it because i have already done that work um over here i have done that so i will duplicate um and this is uh day trend or we can say daily trend right um so what do we need is like this uh, we will remove the month information um and over here uh, subcategory uh, what we need is order date and here we change this to day right um let's keep it like entire view so one two three four all the different days and here i will change this to a line chart right and uh, this needs to be what discrete okay so we have some of sales we don't need month we need month over here in columns and it would be better if it is more like a chart so you can see the craziness which goes here i'll make it discrete okay so i have month i have this area now it is coming along after a bit of a work and we will give it entire view so clearly no sales over here on that day but then on 17th uh, on 18th there is the sale uh, and clearly the may uh, sorry the april sales is is super high in some cases also over here you know edit the color so april and may click ok right we don't need these grid lines so right click and format and uh, over here let me go to this and say none um, over here i will go into added access and remove the sales right and uh, this is good this is fine april and may 
for some reasons i feel like the proper colors are not coming so i will go and again choose this i'll go and i'll choose this click ok apply maybe it is my eyes no it's not my eyes for sure this is something uh, related to these colors which is not working as expected um okay i'll tackle with that let me just first uh, build up these visualizations sheet 3 is basically for this donut chart right so this is based on the segment and uh, sales so what do we have sorry the segment and sales so we have segments and uh, we have sales right i'll just go and change this to a pie chart and uh, let me increase this and let me call it what entire view okay it's quite big so i reduce this all right uh, the only thing i will do is i will put two dummy calculation so we'll call it anything every zero min zero this is just to create two axes so this is first axis this is second axis for the same information right we can choose columns we can choose rows whatever we need not not an issue but the whole idea is this from one of the calculation we remove everything right and it will simply become like a space uh, what we do is we reduce the size of that you can see the size is reduced only for this one and we call it what dual axis so now this is part of this uh, we change the color to a bit lighter right so now it is donut the only thing is these lines which is coming so over here zero line uh, for the sheet zero line none so zero line is gone right um for columns we don't need grid line so grid line is also gone um over here in this sheet we don't need row divider we don't need column divider and we don't need this remove every single thing so now what we are finally uh, what we are finally having is this so this one and i'll increase the size for the middle section where you have the hole uh, or the circle which is covering okay so up to us what formatting we need uh, then from label i will enable the label right uh, also what i can do is i can bring the sales and put it on the labels and then from here i do a quick table calculation and say percent of total so clearly 50 percent is here and this and this but uh, you also bring the sales to show them the actual value right so one is used for uh, calculation the table calculation another one is to show the actual value right so that's another thing that uh, what i have created over here right so consumer corporate home office let me just use the same color ocean and then this and then for home office i will choose this click apply okay it is coming fine all right so we have this ah i keep hitting save let me just save it so that i don't lose um so this is sales dashboard design 2. all right you have this call it pi and then what we have is top customer right so for top customer what do you have is the customer name and the sales and to get the top customer you need to bring top customers to the filters go to the top by field top 10 sales sum click ok and you have the top 10 customer you can also sort it sean miller is the highest one right so this is what it is so we have everything i believe right now it's all about putting it into a dashboard which is 
the most difficult part for beginners because uh, it it basically creates a lot of issues when you do that okay so here is this dashboard before you even do that think about how you need to produce this information so if you see this is the first section this is the second section this is the third section in which you have two divisions right and then this is a fourth section where you have the two division so all in all on top of that uh, here you have one division here you have another division so whole idea is that uh, you have two horizontal section and in this section you have a lot of vertical and horizontal sections so this is what we need to keep in mind because we have to bring in this horizontal and vertical panes right so over here what I will first choose is the vertical because that's where the information will come most of the information but I will also choose um, sorry I will first choose the horizontal because that's where the division is and then uh, over here I will bring in what uh, I'll bring in one section which is let's say the blank section and then I will choose the uh, the vertical layout okay so I have this I have this blank section where I can choose whatever I need so I've selected this in the layout I can select this color so now my my this left banner is ready like this one and here now I can play around with my information then in, within this blank dashboard what I need is basically text so what is our text sales dashboard hyphen monthly okay um tableau regular let's call it what 24 and make it bold and yeah it should be fine sales dashboard monthly right so we have this um after that we have this kpi sheet so we bring in the kpi sheet right uh, then after that we have this horizontal layer which is a third section so i will add horizontal to it and keep it down yep so that they get their space a little bit up further up yep this should be good so i have this horizontal section where i need to put these two sections so that is where my daily trend and so before doing that this has unnecessarily so i will bring it let me put it in a float order because anyway i have to move it somewhere here which i will change it but i have pi and over here i will also put it in a floating order right and put it down there and i will close this okay so i have this i have this then down below i need one more horizontal um because Ooh, this is crazy so down below i need one more horizontal layer that is basically helping me creating this so if i bring the daily trend nope this is not what i need um within the layout and this is where you know this is the entire tile this is the horizontal this is again horizontal okay i have two third horizontal then vertical okay within that this is the horizontal one right we have pi i don't know why i have this remove container right Click remove container. I'm just trying to correct a little bit because of this weirdness. We have this blank which is completely out, right? And then we have this vertical container within that. 
I want to put one horizontal. Yes, now it has allowed us. So you can see sometimes it is a bit of an exercise. Daily trend and the top customer. If it does not change, we we just have to create this sheet from the scratch because of this weirdness. Okay. Let me try and adjust that. Let me try and bring it up here. Even for this, I can bring it up here. I have daily trend and all of this information. All right. I will select this entire board, the, the highest, the outer one. Go to the background and choose a bit dark background, second dark, right? Um, so whatever I need, I can actually choose anything lighter. Okay. I have this. Even for this, if I want, I can choose a lighter one, light over here. Um, we will call it sales KPIs. All right, we will keep it what then? Tableau bold is fine. Okay, sales KPI. Now, this is a setting we need to remember for everything. Select this 10 Tableau bold. Okay. Um, here, this will be. sales by segment select 10 w bold click ok right so you can bring this over here right and then even for this double click select w10 and bold apply okay even for this tableau 10 and bold and okay so you have all of this information right with you also on top of this uh, what you can do is even for this one choose one darker shade right so it will stand out for this a bit darker one darker shade right for this same one darker shade for the background over here one darker shade and then finally even for this you have one darker shade right so all of this information is clearly showing that you have the background but this is standing out as part of it as as it is the different component also over here right right click Go to edit access and remove the sales title, right? That way it becomes bit standard, right? Also, since we are showing the value, there is no point I show this, the access, so uncheck the show header. So it becomes clear, clear right? So we have this, let's do this and uh, arrange item in a single row, right? So we have this um, month of order date. I'll remove the title and I keep this bit here. That way it will feel like it is part of the component, right? So all of this is now done. The only thing is this is a, a chart uh, which is not showing the right colors. Let me try adjusting one more time okay so this is opacity issue if i do that yep it's all done it was opacity so what was happening is in color if the opacity is less then it is a washed out color so we are good now at least from this uh, then what we have is basically a filter so over here if i go here and say uh, toolbar fit. Um, sorry, filters. Month year of this. Ooh, this is created an issue, right? 
so multiple values drop down make it what floating yeah and then bring it over here right so what you can do is you can go to the edit title select this select the select month simple let's keep it simple call it a talk click ok select month right so you have this also um, there is this further customization like format filter and set control that you can further explore right now the next part is in this i am having this show details sections right so what do we need well we need one uh, blank object so i bring the blank object control set um let me put it here first and say floating okay so now i put it over here bring it inside and then yeah i think better than this what i can do is uh, I, let me click floating and let me call the text and let me call it dashboard all right then over here click on add show hide button and then expand that okay and then over here in edit button we edit show height is this uh, this is a text button when item is shown when the dashboard is shown then we need to say show details when the dashboard is hidden then we need to say show dashboard right so you have this um over here tiled click apply and okay so if i click option or alt and click this this is all hidden but you can see that this this is creating issue right so i'll show you a quick setting so over here come come to the more options arrange i sorry uh floating order send to back over here floating order send to back now if you click on show detail oh this is still coming let me let me once create this one tab over here which is uh, this one sheet what is this sheet it's a details sheet right so over here in the details sheet uh, what do we need? Let's say we need a couple of fields, customer name, um, customer city, um, state, let's say region, let's say order ID, and let's maybe sales, right? If this is what the information is, I mean, you can keep it as much as you want, but if let's say this is what we want to show, so I come over here and i bring in details over here and i expand this so now you can see why i was saying that this this will be removed when we'll add this so let me add maybe one or two more field um so order id um then i can add maybe segment right and maybe i don't know ship mode right so then we have this entire information okay so now this is what basically is your if i click on show dashboard the show dashboard is basically being overridden by this if i click over here it is what basically showing you so if i come over here and go to edit button so when item is shown uh then what you have is basically um uh, sorry this text button where you have the show details 
and item hidden is when you have the show dashboard and then let me just go back again you just need to make sure that uh, the same setting when item is shown uh, you know which is the detail sheet and detail sheet is what you need to select from here right uh, so item to show or hide is the detail sheet which is this one when item is shown that means the sheet is visible we want to show dashboard and when item is hidden we want to show the details right so if i now now go over here and click we have the dashboard we have the details we have the dashboard we have the details so this is a configuration that you can do in your dashboard that way it will become more uh, visible and user friendly for your users also uh, you know you can add as much information as you want uh, by going over here and uh, and that should basically help you uh, you know getting more interactive uh, experience from your user perspective so that's pretty much all what i wanted to show you also i will just expand this before i finish that way it is properly there all right and if i come down here if i just do this yep should good so feels like giving a feeling this is a part of this banner so we go in a full mode and this is what we see right and uh, yeah that's pretty much it what i wanted to show i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic